我哋而家咧争啲撞车，但系咧准备去呢、這个争啲准备去呢、這个。葡萄牙其中一個啊 ，Lisbon 嘅其中一個景點叫做 Lip， 叫做 Lip。我翻去翻去查個名先。但係咧，我哋而家就去呢個景點。我哋早咗，其實都唔算早，而家九點幾，係接近十點啦，可能已經。所以而家人咧就唔算特別多。我哋去搭 Lip，Let's go。做嘅非雪冻咖啡铺，我哋买少少嘢嚟试下。我头先全葡萄牙文咁样买咗两个马加优饼，开心。系 Dutch pastel de b a c a l o n 好似系。跟佢都听得明，开心。我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整唔到，我整我哋揾咗呢个位，我边边做咧？做咩？做咩？做咩？做咩？做咩？做咩？做我谂之前佢话唔可以上去，就系呢度，系呢个小，仲系可以上去。原来呢、這个。升降機淨係上嚟，跟住就可以行呢條隧道去翻街嗰度。所以頭先我哋就奇怪點解啲人上咗咁耐都未落嚟，原來就係咁解。今日天氣好好啊，好彩。天氣好好啊。開唔到嘢。開唔到嘢啊！呢、這個就我喺呢度揾到嘅最愛。马加优萝卜，唔系薯仔包包，好食。呢个系，哦，雪，哦，雪。呢个系，嗯，葡国嘅猪扒包，唔同澳门嗰啲。嗯，好快好快，不过唔系澳门咧，产少猪扒包。系糖醋啊嗰啲食法，都几好食噶，可以试下。哇，好靓啊！呢度咧全呢度话系中世纪 medieval time 嘅一个 castle 嚟嘅。蓝天白云加埋啲柱柱，中世纪嘅建筑。
嗰個咧就係一個 Austria 女王嘅木棺木。
馬車 museum， 呢位小姐同我行完樓梯，一齊喘氣緊。我哋而家喺個馬車 museum。呢個一六一九年喺 Madrid Spain Spain 行到嚟呢度 list 嚟，啲話咁嘅馬車可以行到咁遠，好犀利啊！呢個係發明葡萄嘅地方，第一間葡萄鋪，我哋一齊入去睇下啦。高層，估唔到外面咁細，入邊原來咁大喎。第一間葡萄，耶！好好食啊！裏邊。嗯，哇！呢个菜，嗯，真系最好食啊！果然系第一间葡萄嘅发明地。葡萄嘅发明地，你唔觉得呢个呢个叫有啲鱼饼？佢系第一个发明葡萄嘅地方嘅铺头。啲啲行咗嚟，好似疑似禮賓府，但係個樣係好低調嘅。我哋而家去食晏，呢、这个叫做 two e u， 意思就系你同我食 tapas 嘅。我上去话佢啲人，我等紧我喺度啊。Hello， 咩啊？你未偷？偷咗。我哋而家准备搭巴士去呢个葡萄牙嘅国家瓷砖博物馆。耶！而家我哋嚟到呢个苗师人啦，无限助书包，有个米奇老鼠嘅好可爱。喺呢度咧就系印咗个圆砖嘅 size 啦，然之后加个光嘅之后咧就搵张纸包住佢，印湿佢，搵个针咁样嘅嘢。好多款咯，我變咗起咗個線稿，跟住再由顏色出嚟。呢、這個 design 係一六零零年至到一六二五年，但我而家都覺得好靚。葡萄牙嘅葡萄，葡萄牙式嘅葡葡葡萄牙式嘅葡萄牙葡萄牙嘅葡萄牙。但係其實，但係其實我哋覺得係甜餐班啊！呢、這、只、個、特別嘅原因咧，係佢話已經浸咗啲 port wine 跌落去噶啦，咖啡橙汁。呢度飲果汁真係好平，好抵飲。
，真係食到陰氣死咗。我哋冇得食個馬大有波波大個大叔送咗呢個大大有餅，係代試下。嗯，我哋我哋好得好得食啊！我哋好中意馬大有，好食。哦，呢個嘅魚有個沙律。緊要食最菜嘅薯仔。最後呢間超市度買咗啲。真系鱼手信啊，油浸沙丁鱼手信几好食。耶！呢个大 project 咧，终于接近完成啦。虽然剪片嘅过程咧就有少少头痛，但系而家接近剪完嘅尾声咧，其实就有少少唔舍得，因为今次咧系我第一次同朋友出国旅行，我玩得真系好开心。亦都喺呢度多谢朋友们嘅照顾，俾我做小废人。每一日咧，我只系需要起身出门口。之後就會有人帶路，帶我去飲好飲嘅咖啡，去食好食嘅嘢，去睇美麗嘅風景。所以好感恩有大家。剪片嘅時候就好似去多一次旅行咁樣，真係好開心，好期待，好期待再一次同大家一齊去玩。亦都好希望分享到平葡萄牙嘅美麗俾大家。有機會咧，一定要去啊！強烈推介。Well, I just wanna be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. 'Cause there's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut; it can show you what you want. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need. 我哋呢个葡萄牙之旅咧就告一段落啦。以后嚟嘅时间咧，我都会继续。记录生活同旅行，嗯，不过咧，我唔想俾咁大嘅压力自己，但系咧，我都会尽量希望尽快可以分享我嘅生活小记录俾大家。我哋下一次再见啦，拜拜，多谢大家。